So with the model being captured from the likes of Code, I do want to discuss the possibility of a training arc happening very soon. In Boruto chapter 70, a model did say that it wouldn't hurt for either Boruto or Kawaki to train up and get their karma power stronger for future threats such as Code, Ada, and Damon. And with Code getting his limiters removed in Boruto chapter 70, Boruto and Kawaki will need all the powers that they have right now in order to take down someone as strong as that. So with that being said, I do want to discuss the possibility of Boruto and Kawaki undergoing a training arc in order to get stronger to fight foes this strong. With the model being captured, it does set up the likes of an Amado retrieval arc. This is something that many fans have been saying in the community and I wouldn't be surprised for it to actually happen. However, I definitely do think that Konoha is going to plan out if in fact there is going to be an Amado retrieval arc. At the end of Boruto chapter 70, after Amado was captured, Shikamaru did assume that Amado was killed by the time that he was captured by the likes of Code. So with that being said, I'm not sure if there is going to be an Amado retrieval arc. However, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they still want to get Amado back, even if he has died. For example, if they assume that Amado is dead, they still want his body back for Intel, of course. Amado is a very important player for the likes of Konoha by bringing in technological advancements, such as giving Kawaki the Karma Seal once again, which has proven to help Konoha, especially in the initial battle against Code. Now that Code has his limiters removed, both Boruto and Kawaki need the power in order to fight him now. And with those strategists such as Shikamaru, knowing that Amado was captured, definitely do think the likes of Shikamaru and the rest of the Leaf Village, such as Naruto and Sasuke, will infer that Code has gotten his limiters removed, and they will understand that they will all need to undergo a training arc, specifically Boruto and Kawaki. Obviously, Kawaki has received his Karma Seal with the likes of Ishiki Otsutsuki's powers, alongside with Boruto being 100% Otsutsuki, with him saying he can channel Momochiki's powers better now. So with that being said, I would not be surprised at all if we were to get a training arc in the next couple of chapters in the Boruto manga. However, the one thing I do want to say is that I don't think it's going to be like a little spar like they had in Boruto chapter 58, where we did see Team 7 train using basic chakra control drills, and eventually Kawaki decided to spar everyone on Team 7. I don't think we're going to get like a one chapter training arc. I definitely do think if we're going to get one, it would happen now, considering that Code has a model in his hands, and they definitely do need the power to get stronger. Even though Boruto and Kawaki are arguably the two strongest people in the Hidden Leaf Village now, they definitely do need to get stronger. Knowing that Konoha has intel on the likes of Code and Ada, they definitely do need Boruto and Kawaki to be as strong as possible in order to take these two foes down. Because at least for now, both Shikamaru and Ino know about Ada's love ability. Of course, with her infatuation ability, the only people who can negate her ability is of course her blood relatives and Otsutsuki's as well, such as Boruto and Kawaki. So I do want to say if the possibility that they do go into this training arc, it's most likely going to be just Boruto and Kawaki. Sadly, I don't think Sarada and Mitsuki will be in this training arc, knowing that the two of them are behind both Boruto and Kawaki in terms of power, and on top of that, the only characters that can fight and take down Ada are Boruto and Kawaki, of course. Everyone else would just be infatuated by Ada's love ability. So with that being said, it sucks for me to say this, but Sarada and Mitsuki will not be included in this potential upcoming training arc. I wouldn't be surprised if this were to happen, considering that they definitely do need the power in order to fight Ada, Code, and Damon. So with that being said, this training arc, I don't think it's going to be like that one chapter we saw in Boruto chapter 58. I definitely do think if we were to get a training arc, it would have to be a couple chapters at least. We would see Boruto and Kaoki go at it, mastering their Otsutsuki abilities, with Boruto becoming 100% Otsutsuki. I definitely do think he'll try to channel his Otsutsuki powers a lot more in training, with the likes of Kaoki, of course. With the fact that many Otsutsuki, such as pure-blooded Otsutsukis, can fly. If Boruto can master the art of flying, as well as with Kawaki maturing Ishiki Otsutsuki's dojutsu, knowing that the two of them can grasp the true essence of karma, this is how they would be able to get stronger together. We did see earlier in the Kawaki arc when the two of them were training, we do know that both of their karmas did resonate simply because they were living together. So that being said, when Boruto and Kawaki are together, especially in battle, such as when they are training together or when they are fighting other foes, such as Boro for example, they are able to get stronger together and amplify their powers when fighting alongside each other. We saw when the new Team 7 were fighting Boro, there was a point where both Boruto and Kawaki amplified their karmas in order to do a massive Rasengan to amp the jutsu to hurt Boro. I definitely do think there would be an idea for both of them to have more tandem attacks like that. I would love to see that considering that the two of them are the two strongest people in the village, if not in the entire shinobi world, they definitely do need to get their powers up so they don't just get bodied by the likes of Code. Now that he has his limiters removed, I don't think Boruto or Kawaki can just walk into the land of snow and just body Code like that. Not like how easy it was before, especially when they were fighting a limited Code, where they had a lot easier time where Boruto was relative to a limited Code, where Kawaki was just bullied.
controlling his shit. Same thing goes with Momoshiki as well. Let's not forget about the fact that Momoshiki has basically the same goals as Code. Obviously, Code has his hit list with the likes of Naruto, Sasuke, Amado, and Shikamaru. At the end of Boruto chapter 70, we did see Code go for the kill, trying to kill Amado on the last page. However, with that being said, I definitely don't think Code will actually go for that killing blow, simply because Ada wants to kill Amado herself, and I definitely do think for plot reasons, they will keep Amado alive for at least the next couple of Boruto chapters, if they're gonna kill him pre-time skip. Hopefully, we get to see Amado live through the time skip, and we get to see what he actually wants to do with the likes of Kawaki, simply because he was the one who gave Kawaki the Karma Seal, and he definitely has some sort of motive that has to do with Kawaki's Karma Seal, alongside with Ishiki's powers. So with that being said, if the Hidden Leaf Village are going to get Amado back, they definitely do need to get their two strongest people in shape and get their powers up in order to fight someone like Limitless Code. Knowing that they have the intel and the likes of Code and Ada, Boruto and Kawaki will need to be at their peak powers in order to fight these people. I don't expect it to be an easy battle at all, considering how strong Code and Ada are, and specifically Damon. They don't really have intel on him, so I definitely do think he'll be an X factor in this upcoming battle, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if there were to be a training arc for Naruto or Sasuke to partake in it. They definitely do need the powers in order to fight someone like this, and the fact that this current arc in the Boruto manga has been going on for about a year and a half so far, I definitely do think this is going to be the climax, the final battle before the Boruto time skip. They have definitely been building up to this point. Now that everyone is basically at peak powers, now it's just for all of them to fight. I definitely do think they've been building up to this point. Now that Code feels like he can't take any more L's, it's about time we get to this fight since I definitely do think we are nearing this final battle that heads into the time skip. Because if I'm being real here, I definitely do think this is the final arc before the Boruto time skip or Boruto Shippuden, whatever you want to call it. But with that being said, I hope Boruto and Kawaki are prepared in order to fight the likes of Code and Ada. Obviously, Damon is an outlier. I don't know how they're going to fight him, considering that he has arguably the most broken ability in the entire series. The ability to reflect is absolutely disgusting, considering that you don't even need to be directly attacking him for your ability to reflect upon you. We saw this when Kawaki did this against Code, where Code pulled out Damon to protect himself. So I do want to say that this is definitely building up toward the climax of this arc, and possibly the climax of Boruto Part 1. So all in all, I'm very excited for these next couple of chapters in the Boruto manga. I wouldn't be surprised at all if a training arc were to happen. However, if that isn't going to happen and they decide, hey, let's just go to the land of snow in order to retrieve Amato, after their battle, whatever happens there, I definitely do expect a training arc before they go fight Code again or after the battle against Code eventually leads into the time skip. With their powers that they recently received, they definitely do need some refining in order to become stronger because heading into the time skip, whoever they're going to fight, if it's more Osutsukis or if Code, Ada, and Damon manage to survive that far, I definitely do think they will need to train a pretty significant amount in order to fight the upcoming threat. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. How would you feel if they were to actually have a training arc, specifically with Boruto and Kawaki? These are the only people that can actually have a chance of taking down the likes of Code, possibly with Naruto and Sasuke joining them as well. And tell me, how excited are you for the upcoming battle between the likes of Boruto, Kawaki versus Code? Do you think even adding the likes of Naruto and Sasuke alongside Boruto and Kawaki will help them have a chance to take down Code? Let me know what you think about all that in the comment section below. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace.